Hi, this video is about uh, CloudFormation uh, Template Designer. This is part two of uh, this, uh, on this topic on Template Designer. We will uh, see a few bits and pieces uh, in this video that we left out of uh, the first video. So for this, we need to go to Cloud Formation by clicking, I click on services and then cloud formation. And uh, we go to design template. We previously uh, created a template and uh, visually created a template where we added resources and safety. So instead of creating a new template now, um, we will load that one. So we'll open from this icon, we hit on open and uh, we saved our locally in my download folder, which is here, web server the template. So I'll just select that one and open that file. And you see the file that we created in previous uh, tutorial video is here. So now um, to complete this stack, we need to add uh, properties. And if we want, we can add some optional components. So how we can do that? So if I click on, on the canvas, any any area here, you see template and components. So this is the template. Here you can add any properties to any resources that we have. On the other hand, if I click on any specific component, let's say I click on VPC. In this VPC, uh, I can, after, after selecting VPC or any specific component, let's say any specific component, regardless, I can, I can uh, change the properties um, of uh, that resource accordingly. And uh, for example, we can add some uh, parameters that we have seen in our uh, introductory video on cloud formation. Whatever you want to do, we can add the code uh, here. And uh, one thing is to note that if we click on this uh, open space, then our template and components, it becomes uh, uh, the template wide. On the other hand, when you click on any specific resource, then it becomes, uh, the properties becomes uh, that uh, resource specific. And once we we mention all our required properties and uh, mapping whatever we need, uh, if we have, then once we are ready, uh, we can click on this button, which says create a stack. And before that, we always, uh, we will keep this check because it validates the template checks for syntactical and any kind of uh, anomalies. If there is, then it will give you an uh, error uh, that we have seen previously. So if you, uh, when you give the properties that you need um, you know, and uh, based on that properties, you will be able to create this stack just by clicking on this button. And uh, as this uh, tutorial was mainly to show you um, how to work with uh, Cloud Formation Template Designer will not go into details of what kind of properties we might need. It depends on the scenario here. We wanted to just show our, our basic web server. If we wanted to design a template, uh, there's a lot more uh, to add, in, for example, uh, to properties and other stuffs. But however, I'll keep it out of the scope of this video tutorial. Um, but once again, uh, as I mentioned in some other uh, tutorials, that the best resource for AWS is the AWS website itself. So if, and you need to know uh, in depth about templates to become a guru on, uh, on AWS. So let me quickly show you where you can find the documentation for templates or for anything, any, any other AWS services. If you go to the AWS website, if you click on menu and uh, then if you go on documentation. Okay, here, here one thing is uh, in services, if I click on services, as you can see that cloud formation is under management tools. So 
so um we need to go to the documentation and we need to go to the uh, management tools management tools now here we have cloud formation so we are on the documentation side we're going to the documentation as you can see uh, management tool from documentation i came to the management tools and then i went to the cloud formation and i'm clicking on that now we have the documentation here let's say user guide so if i click on pdf might take uh, some time for the PDF to load and then we'll have uh, everything about cloud formation so so while that uh, the PDF is being loaded we can just have a quick look so that, uh, just to give you that's a, um, a quick overview that from left pen you have the resources here you can see all the temp template uh, related things, condition and metadata and other things. You can manually add um, properties. Uh, when you click on, on the canvas, it becomes the template white. Um, and when you click on a specific resource, it automatically changes to that resource specific, uh, uh, specification. So for example, uh, you can add properties and uh, everything. And also we can just quickly switch between JSON and YAML version as you can see and uh, so let us go back to that AWS documentation so here you see this is the one user guide from AWS um, I must say that this is uh, the best resource on any AWS is you can find on AWS website and here if you uh, if you scroll down uh, and uh, go to the table of contents, you will see that it has everything about cloud formation, including uh, templates. It has a lot of examples, um, uh, how to deploy different kinds of servers, for example, web server, for example, LAMP, uh, and uh, everything about template you can, you can, and everything about cloud formation, and also you know, about template you can find on the AWS website and uh, I would strongly suggest you to go through the documentation on AWS website not only for cloud formation for any other service as I um, uh, as I say that the best resource you can find is on the AWS website itself yeah so that's all about uh, cloud formation template designer and uh, when you go through the documentation in detail uh, you you will find a lot of templates which will make your life easier instead of um, writing the codes uh, again. Uh, so you, you will be able to learn the template basics. You will be able to pick a template and deploy stacks and everything. Um, so before we come, uh, we end this video well, on the designer template designer uh, once again. It's always uh, you can find the best resource on the AWS website. And that's how we can use cloud formation template designer to just visually design template. And also we can look into the existing templates, which might help us to copy and paste co uh, codes into our template instead of um, starting everything or writing everything from scratch and it will make our life further easier. Thank you.